Hello everyone, welcome to this Blender tutorial. Today I want to talk about OpenGL rendered smoke. First of all, if you've ever rendered or worked with a smoke simulation in Blender, you know that it can take quite some time to bake the simulation data and then it can take more time to actually render it out frame by frame. And perhaps you've looked at the preview in your render window and thought to yourself, that already looks good enough for what I want to do. So why not just render this out? And you can do that with OpenGL rendering if you watch out for something, for some little things. And I want to talk about that. Okay, let's head into Blender. First of all, I'm going to use the Blender internal render engine. I know that by now Cycles can also render smoke, but I haven't tried it out with Cycles yet, so I stick to the internal renderer for now. Then, if we can see the viewport here, down here is a button for OpenGL rendering a single frame. And the animation, I won't click that now, but as you can see, this button gives you exactly what you see in the viewport. If you switch to camera view, you get this selected and all. Now, let me quickly set up a smoke simulation. I want to use one half of an icosphere for that. Let me quickly delete the lower half and scale it down a bit. And now object, quick effects, quick smoke. And for some reason the domain is always a bit too much below the flow object. So I usually, when I use quick smoke, I move it up a little bit. Now, if I deselect that and press Alt-A to render it all out, we can see the smoke comes up. And if I were to click OpenGL render right now, we can still see the domain object. We can still see this little line here that comes from the lamp. How do we fix that? Well, first of all, we press N to bring up the side menu. We switch the shading from multi-texture to GLSL. And if we click display only render, we get only this. And now if we render a single frame from the viewport, from camera view, we get exactly this smoke. We could theoretically, for working, I turn this off again. Um, with the domain object selected, let's say we want green smoke. Same principle. Make sure you have this deselected or else you're going to see those um, green arrows around the selected object. I press this and we have our green smoke. Let me do this quickly. Okay, we're back to normal. Now, some things to watch out for. If you want to improve your simulation speed by using smoke adaptive domain, which will only calculate the smoke where it actually is within the domain, you will get some funky results, namely that the domain does not disappear even if you deselect everything and check only render. So I don't know why that is, but keep that in mind. If you want to use OpenGL to render your smoke, you have to deselect smoke adaptive domain. Now let me quickly set up some things for the smoke itself. I want the smoke to dissolve and I want to have it with a bit higher resolution and you can even use smoke high resolution. 
Of course, the preview speed will be slower. Um, I want it to be a bit more turbulent. Now the simulation will be slower, but you can still, it's still pretty fast, or at least you don't have to wait forever for one single frame. And if you open GA rendered, you click, you get your smoke. Now let's say you want your smoke as some sort of stock footage and use it later with live action footage. One way would, to do that would be to change the background color to black. And then you can use, when you rendered it all out, you can use screen to get it over your uh, live action footage as an overlay mode, or you go to render settings, shading, and you switch it from, you switch it here, alpha from sky to transparent. Now you don't see anything change in the viewport, but if you render it out, you can see you just have the smoke, no sky, just the smoke. And if you wanted to render that out, as an image sequence. First of all, let me change the render size to 100% and compare the normal rendering with the OpenGL render. This is our OpenGL rendering, slot one. Now I change to slot two and render the same frame with the normal render engine by clicking this button. Now for the differences. We can see the lighting, the shading is better with the, that's the normal renderer and that's OpenGL. OpenGL doesn't really have any shadow in the smoke or something. It really just has the smoke. Whereas the internal render engine actually computes the shadow of the smoke and you actually see the flow object while it is not visible in the OpenGL rendering. But a lot of times you don't even want it to be visible and to me this relatively uh, not very well shaded smoke from the OpenGL renderer is absolutely okay if I want something like gun smoke or something like that. That's enough, and I don't have to waste. Uh, what was that? Um, like four seconds up here to render a single frame if I only want something that looks like that. See that? See how fast that is? Just press the button, and it's already there. Now, to render that out. Of course, we want to keep the alpha channel, so we click RGBA. And let me, on my desktop, quickly set up a new folder. Just test. And in that folder, I want to get the file smoke. And then these sharp signs here, each sharp sign will be replaced by the frame number. And because I have 250 frames, I need three numbers. So we have that. PNG sequence, alpha channel. And now if I press this button right here, I will render the entire animation And you can see that's about a second per frame. You can really watch the smoke while it moves, spreads out. It's not quite real time, but much faster than waiting four seconds per frame. And I'm going to stop the rendering now, just because I don't want you to sit through the whole rendering process. But if I check this out on the desktop, I can see 
Cryptos. Here is frame sequence. And the smoke is spreading. And that was rendered out pretty fast. So that's all for now. I hope you found it useful. Happy blending and see you next time.